Morin. It's cold out. <laughs> oh, where are we? It's like November 12th or something, Sunday. I'm not sure. It's down in the video there. Second trip out with the boat. The, the first one you will not see because that was about as ugly as ugly can get. Um, broke my trolling motor, broke my talon, got skunked. <laughs> All in about three hours of fishing. So I'm at Half Moon Pond. This generally is a place that's been pretty good to me. We'll see if that trend continues though. Honestly, I'm not feeling very confident right now because my confidence is shook. This is uh, week three that I've only fished for a total of eight hours. Think about that, eight hours over the past three weeks. That's insane. And to show for my efforts, uh, the first day in that stretch was 30 minutes on Patanapo and Brookline. I caught two fish, which was pretty good for 30 minutes, given how cold the water was. And then I was sick as a dog. I still kind of am in recovery mode from that. I got out for a couple hours that last Thursday. I got nothing. And actually going back to a week before Potanapo, I forgot about that. I was out for three hours. It was just ridiculously cold, and I caught one fish. So I got three fish across three trips now. This season's starting to end like it began, and I'm not feeling good about it. I have no plan other than I'm just going to do whatever I can to try and catch a fish and brave the elements because it's like uh, air temp of 35 today and the wind's going to be howling. It's going to be cold, real cold today. I'm bundled up as best I can. Let's see what we can do. I've got about 10 pounds worth of hand warmers on me. Oh my God, be a fish. Oh dude, I caught one. You're joking. I caught a fish on the jerk bait. <laughs> I did it. Oh man, he ate it too. Oh, that makes me happy. Look at this. Dude, he ate it from the head. Look at that. Dude was hungry. <laughs> Jeez. There we go. First fish of the day. We got one on the jerk bait too. That mega bass finally paid for itself. <laughs> oh, I don't care that it was tiny. Oh, you have no idea how happy that makes me. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, how the hell does anyone effectively fish a jerkbait and win like this? It, it's freaking howling. Well, not howling, but like I can't keep my boat still. I'm flying all over the place. I can't. I have no idea what my jerkbait's doing. Like, am I reeling up too much because? You know, the boat's blowing towards it. Am I taking up too much slack and I'm not giving it a slash because I got too much tension? Am I too, you know, too much loose line? It's not doing anything when I'm giving it a little jerk jerk? Like, I have no idea. It's a bait I'm not super confident with anyway. Uh, and then add into the fact that the conditions are, like, all over the friggin' place and I have no idea, like, am I doing this right? And, well, I guess so. And then here comes the wind again. This is just a shit show. An absolute, utter joke of weather. They said up to 10 mile an hour winds today. This is 20. There's, this is way worse than they said. I've got an 80 pound trolling motor. I've got it on 100 and I'm making zero headway here. There we go. Now we're moving. If I don't have it constantly on, I'm getting blown all over the place. I'm not going to lie. It's really frustrating dealing with this. Cause like I just want to fish and, and unfortunately I broke my talons. So you know, I'm back in a place where I could use it. It's only an eight foot model and I might do a little spinning, but at least I'd be in the same damn spot. A pain in my butt. Do the best I can with what I got. Oh, dude. Okay, well, I'm in the right area and I'm doing the right thing because I got another good one. Yeah, dude, look at him. <laughs> okay, I don't gotta worry about the wind as much because like, what I'm doing is working. <laughs> oh man, would you look at that. He hit it hard too. Oop, just stuck my glove, that was good. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> I can actually work this a little more aggressively in finding. And I am on the right side. I'm in the right area. Oh, man. 
This is already becoming one of the best jerk bait tapes I've ever had. Uh, I'm so bad at the jerk bait. It's just something I'm not super confident in. Because I haven't had many good days with it. But that's really all I'm missing. It's just a couple of good days of doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing. And then hitting it. So nothing really special to what it is I'm doing, where I'm doing it. I'm just working the jerk bait in kind of one of my uh, higher probability areas or you know, more efficient areas. With it kind of being out in the mouth here, or at the, the, at the mouth of the channel here, you know, all times of the year, I've had luck catching fish kind of in this area. It's a little bit deeper. we got deeper water just off the side here. And there's sporadic patches of grass. Although at this point, it's all pretty much dead. But there are a couple of logs hiding out here. Uh, and it's just a little bit of something. Plus, with all the water coming down with the wind blowing into this shoreline, you got the points here. And it's just kind of a good spot for them. Got him. That feels better. That feels good. All right, buddy. Probably got hooked in the side. That's good fish. Not huge, but good. Oh. Right color, right spot. Doing the right thing in the right area. <laughs> Mega bass jerk bait. All of a sudden, doing work. Oh, dude, this thing is eating good too. <sighs> there we go. Number three. Ah, oh, that is exactly so. The first one, I was just going to reel it in, and all of a sudden he was there. The second one, he slapped it when I was kind of burning it back. Like I got two or three cranks into it, and all of a sudden he was like he hit it hard. Like I said, I thought I reeled into a log out here. That one, to me, it was that classic jerk bait bite. You know, you go to snap, snap, and you can feel the tension of the bait, you know, the resistance against it, but then nothing. But for those that haven't really fished a jerk bait, the best way I can explain it, and this was the hardest part for me to understand, what the hell am I supposed to expect when I get a jerk bait bite? Everything else I, I understood, but what am I supposed to be feeling with this? No one could really adequately explain it. Adequately explain it. The best way I can put it <coughs> is you go to do that and again you can feel the natural tension and resistance of your bait when you hook a fish on one of those snaps it's going to feel like your lure is attached to a spring it's going to come out and feel like it gets pulled right back in that is what a fish should feel like on a jerk bait at least most of the time and that's when you know you're going to get them in between the paws you're going to snap they're going to eat it you're going to go to snap again and you're going to feel a you know spring is basically what it feels like again it's a very springy feel like or uh yeah, feel to it. That, that, that last fish is exactly what that bite was like. Now, water is actually a little bit warmer over here, which makes sense because we're on the north side, so it's getting more of the sun, than down there. It's a little bit shallower over there, but the water was like 39 to 40. Over here, I've got 42 degrees. There's one. Oh, dude, that feels good. They're all kind of stacked up and off that point, the left point. Just barely got it. Can you stop rotating away from me? There we go, just stuck my thumb. <laughs> ah, number four, little guy, but you know what? I don't care. Considering the last three weeks is gone for me, I'm just glad to be getting into something. Yeah, that left point seems to be the place to be right now. Oh, dude. <laughs> that one slapped it as I was going to reel it in. It felt so much bigger for a brief moment. <laughs> that left point. They love it. All right, hang on. Well, okay, then there's that. 
<laughs> the little guy. Back to the left point we go. <laughs> That's five in like 30 minutes maybe. Funny thing is they're all coming, like three of them have come really close to these two logs now. I tried rolling a spinnerbait through it like four or five times and I didn't get sniffed at. Well, no one hit it. Could have had something trailing it, but couldn't be moving just fast enough that they're like, nope, don't want anything to do with it. Like maybe if you slow down a little bit, I might eat it. <laughs> God, this is something I've needed for a while though to get a good jerk bait bite like this. Alone, kind of doing my own thing, not trying to replicate what somebody else is doing. Huge confidence boost. This is the second good day I've had fishing a jerk bait alone. Oh, bastard, I missed him. Slept on it. Slept on it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he got a mouthful of it. <laughs> it's like in there sideways. This left spot, man, I tell you, it's just working. <laughs> all right, all right, simmer down. Look at this. Yep. You want to tell me I'm doing the right thing or what? Because he came and grabbed it the way you want to see them do it. Number five. Whoo! Feeling good. I tell you what, though, I had to work like hell to catch up to him. He saw me. <laughs> oh, that thing hit it and ran. Despite the water being so cold, they are aggressive. Well, at least for the first few feet, then they just completely die. There he is. <laughs> Second one. Little guy. <clears throat> Real little. On a fish, number six. Teeny tiny. <clears throat> but he hit it with authority on the second jerk. <clears throat> Same friggin' spot. There he is. Or is that weeds? No, oh, it's a fish. Little guy again. Oh my god, they're just stacked up here still. <laughs> it's good to go out and give a little break. No little guy. All right, that's going to wrap it up. A phone call from the wife. Our youngest is at home throwing up <laughs> with a little bit of a fever. So, time to pack it in. But you know what? I had a damn good day. We finally got the jerk bait to work for me. Well, I say finally. It's actually like the second or third good day I've had out here with it. So, man, I'm happy. Considering the water was 42 degrees, the wind has not been friendly. I made it work, and that makes me happy. Especially the bait that I now have a little bit of confidence with. <laughs> Maybe not all the confidence in the world, but at least a little bit of confidence. So, thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.